and we're spitting facts here, folks. And we're spitting facts here, folks. Yeah, their opinion, sure, but we backed them up with facts and numbers. But we backed them up with facts and numbers. All right, everybody, welcome back to another x Gaming video. x here, and today, yes, you're going to get your second dose of the weekly Salty Batch files, and today's theme is going to run around a lot of the Xbox fanboys trying to grasp at straws, trying to grasp at some sort of W in regards to the shortcomings that, or nothing thereof, for Xbox gatherings or givings, if you will. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, we got some uh, large amounts of copium going on that we found deep within those salt mines, of course, and we're going to start today right to it with everybody's not favorite catfish, uh, Andrea Piccinini, a.k.a. Joseph Cruz, a.k.a. known as Extension, which in the previous videos, uh, you recently probably seen the interaction between them and Paris, which was great. Hopefully you enjoyed that. <laughs> But here we have the next delusional post from them, of course, stating Hellblade 2 makes God of War look like a joke. <laughs> pa pause for... Pause for... The reaction to that. Um, I don't even know where to start there. Do you see... Do you see the nonsense? I mean... Even if it was opinion based, right? Even if it was opinion based, which would be very much so in the small, small minority that you would think that Hellblade 2 making God of War look like a joke. In what aspect? Because the visuals in God of War 2018 or Ragnarok are astounding. The gameplay is significantly better. It's significantly longer. The replayability is much better. I mean, the list goes on and on. So if you're going to opinionly or opinionated shared piece here, uh, then again, you're going to be really small in that minority here. But we know why they're stating that. We know who they are. They know we know why they're stating what they state. Um, that's insane, insane and insanity, of course. Um, and if this was the case, it would have actually sold well being on Game Pass or not. Uh, so, again, what are we grasping at here? Kind of super odd. Uh, this is a big L for you in regards to just come up with nonsense out of your ass. Uh, but this is why nobody respects you in the Xbox community, even though you have a lot of simp followers. Uh, in regards to respect, though, again, it's at a zero. Um, that's why not even shills like Paris is going to go ahead and acknowledge you in regards to anything other than the troll and catfish that you are. But let's move on from there. Let's go, because <laughs> Colt, Colt's trying to make things work here. So Colt Eastwood, of course, again, uh, he's a, he's such a huge fan of mine I've seen online. He definitely doesn't have a problem with me whatsoever, but... Colt, maybe stop posting stupid shit, and then you wouldn't be featured so often. But here we go. Meanwhile, at PlayStation SIE. Um... So he's, he's grasping at the fact that, of course, Horizon's getting a remaster for the original game. Now, was this asked for? No. I'm going to acknowledge that right up front with everybody. Um, but again, this game was seven years ago. This isn't the first IP that we would want. But you have to take a step back real quick before we address Colt a little further here. You have to take a step back and ask yourself, why is Sony doing this? Yes, they don't make every decision a home run decision, right? But in this regards, not everybody's played Horizon A. You know, this may not be for me or for you if you played everything there. Even if you really enjoy the series, it may not be for you. But there is supposed to be a series coming out. So, you know, this is essentially the origin of Aloy, the uh, origin of the story that picks up in this new IP, this franchise, right? When I say new IP, I mean in regards to it's only about seven years old, right? Um, so there, there's reasons behind it commercially and as a business. You want to promote it. You want to put stuff out there again. Not everybody's played it. Not everybody's played Spider-Man 2018 or Spider-Man 2 um, either. So every game that sells super well, there's still a large large community out there that hasn't gotten to it either because they're just more casual like they haven't heard it whatever the case is so 
just wanted to kind of get that out of the way. Now, readdressing the Colt situation here and his saltiness because he's not handling the PS5 Pro very well. He's not handling everything that Xbox has not been doing at all. Um, that's what's fun here, right? Is so he's he's picking up the remaster thing because that's what Sony's known for, right? Remaster after remaster. We don't need another Last of Us. We don't need another Horizon. We don't need any of this stuff. I get it. I'd rather see Resistance, Killzone. All sorts of other past IPs revisited, redone as well. I am on that train. However, you have to understand why they're doing this. <clears throat> Again, this isn't for us. They're not sitting there holding us hostage, stating you have to buy these games. Uh, so again putting it on the assembly line. And again, what I'm gonna say to you, Colt, is these games are still better than anything that Xbox has put out in the last 10 years. Metacritic aside, these are better than anything they put out. Halo Infinite has failed to live up to the hype, has failed to live up to what it's supposed to be. It's been nothing but a meme at this point, and we know that, and that was your best shot. And now, Xbox games are heading everywhere, including the competing platforms such as PlayStation, right? Uh, so again, keep grasping at those straws. You can make all the remaster jokes you want, but you guys don't have nothing. You haven't had anything but Hellblade, and we're still waiting to see if Indy even gets delayed, right? Just saying. Let's keep going here, of course. But it's been a minute, but it's time to bring up the Gaming Profit NYC here with another ridiculous take. And as you can see here, the PS5 Pro retail box says 4K 120, but the games are actually running at native 864p, 60 frames per second. So the information on the box is false advertising. Someone please contact the FTC. <clears throat> okay, so now are, are you for or against the FTC first and foremost? Because you're for them um, in regards to other aspects. Not, not for them when it comes to buying out the industry for Xbox, which by the way, if you don't know Gaming Profit NYC, consistently shows that he does not even play his game so i'm not going to dock somebody like i said but his info is easily obtainable on social media it's been shared multiple times and the fact that it's been proven that he doesn't play a game so it's weird they have these shields going for that but again side note let's keep going here so salty about the pro so salty about it and we're sitting here trying to come up with 864p 60 fps it still hits 4k it can still hit 4K and 120 FPS on certain games. It never said it does it for every game. <clears throat> where's the where's the second hand piece of this when we're talking about on the Xbox Series X stating it could do 4K or sorry 8K? It couldn't. Again, only PlayStation had one game called The Tourist that did that. But if you're going to technically speak, PlayStation was able to do that where Xbox Series X was not able to do that. Not even with the tourist that's also available on the Xbox system. Where's the real propaganda there? Where's holding them accountable? We're not saying anything there, but you're trying to act like the pro is supposed to be this miracle worker. It's not, it's not a prospect where somebody has to go out and buy. We've been over this in the previous videos. This is an enthusiast console. You don't have to have it. This is an option. Just like you don't have to have a 4090 and everything under the sun for your PC to run games. It's an option. There's nothing that they're stating is incorrect on here. Keep grasping at those straws. We all know you're salty, but let's keep going here. Now, it's been a minute. We have a couple examples here from Snap Blast Play as well, but these, these are some more delusional takes. Uh, let's start here. Forza Motorsport on Xbox Series X is the best looking racing game ever made. Ray trace car reflection on track, no $700 Pro console needed. Hmm. It's not needed. Cry some more. It's not needed that you have a Series X as well. You can do that on a Series S if you're going to talk about that. And not to mention, I believe we're going to probably see, according to rumors, probably see Forza on the PlayStation as well. And my gosh. If it does look that good on the Series X snap, I can only imagine what it can do on the PlayStation Pro. Uh, but again, let's take a minute and reflect on what you say there because, wow, the narrative, of course, is going to shift like it's an Xbox game. It's an Xbox game. It's going to be played better on, you know, PlayStation, but it's an Xbox game and, and the Sony ponies really want that and they've been clamoring at it. No, it's just the fact of the matter. You get the best of both worlds, but this is your way to cope. 
It's not going to change sales. The amount of fanboys and chills on social media is not going to change the hardware sales for Xbox. It hasn't happened in the last 12 years. You guys, this isn't new. You aren't coming out of the woodworks. You're not crawling out from under rocks recently and thinking this is going to grasp. You can continue to shill. My job isn't even to sell anybody on a PlayStation. I'm not. I'm letting facts speak for themselves. Do with it what you will. But you shilling so hard, what does that do for you? Where does it get you? Absolutely nowhere. And it certainly doesn't help sales for Xbox hardware. But let's go over to your next example, Snap, here. Next example, absolutely wild that the Xbox Series S is a better next-gen console than the PS5 Pro at a third of the price. Okay, the Xbox Series S is not a better next-gen console than the PlayStation 5 alone, let alone the PlayStation 5 Pro. So I don't know what kind of crack you're smoking, but this is not it. This is not it, man. This is one of the wildest takes I've seen in a while. Um, but wow, trying to convince the casual audience to buy a Series S and they're going to see all these disadvantages and shortcomings the Series S provides to them as opposed to getting even a Series X or a PlayStation 5 or a PS5 Pro, um, it's, it's not worth it at all. And I will tell you that. I'm not selling anything, but what I am going to sell you is the fact that if you are going to get an Xbox, get in that Series X. Do not stick with the Series S. In the long run, that'll do you better. Do you much better. Do not get a Series S. I don't care how lucrative or how charming that price tag can be. In the long run, the Series S is holding gaming back. It has been proven many times. And it's also not a good bang for your buck in the long run. It's just, you're gonna notice things. You're gonna notice a lot of things. The parity clause is not gonna take effect with certain games and going forward and you name it. So uh, not, a good, not a good take here. Uh, more copium, very upset about the Pro, gonna be the most powerful console that's ever been released by the time it does release here later this year. So let's keep going here. We want to wrap things up here, of course, with Mr. Coldy. So we're coming back, we're circling back here. Now he's upset, not only with the PS5 Pro folks, but now he's upset that PlayStation can capture that essence of what the OG PlayStation did with the PlayStation 5 Pro themed PS1 type of memorabilia, right? We're getting the controller, we're getting the PS5 Pro themed console, we're getting plates as well for the slim versions or the bigger versions, we're getting the theme colors for the controller, for the portal, you name it, as well as the edge. <clears throat> it's pretty great. It's a home run in my opinion, right? Uh, but he takes it. He takes it and he goes, Timeless Style returns with none of the games from 1995 through 2013. Why, what's the point of bringing that up? Like, we're, <laughs> again, kind of want to rehamp, rehamp and re rehash, so to speak, of what he's talking about with remasters and stuff like that. But then, but then, he doesn't want anything like that. We don't want to revisit older games, but here he's making fun of the fact that we're not revisiting games from 95 to 2013. He wanted to cut that time off, so he didn't overlap when Horizon was released. He doesn't want to overlap when Days Gone was released. He doesn't want to overlap any of that, so he's very careful in the dates that he's choosing. However, Rift Apart was released, and that game was back from then. But we're not supposed to focus on anything in the future. But yes, I do agree to a point. We need to get some of these older IPs, revisit them, so on and so forth. But you can. They did re-release the Sly Cooper collection, right? Sly Cooper 1 especially, especially, right? And you can play these on the new console. So technically they are from them. They're bringing those back. You can buy them for cheap. You can play Dra Legend of Dragoon. You can play Jack and Daxter. You can play some of the Vita games like, uh, you know, Agent Clank, Secret Agent Clank. You can play the Daxter series on that as well. Um, <clears throat> they're bringing it back. They just recently brought back Time Splitters 1, 2, and Future Perfect, and they come with trophies. So again, they're not getting that fresh coat of paint, but they're okay with that because they're fans of big backwards compatibility, folks. But so this, do you see where this comes from, the stipend here? I don't know how anybody takes him seriously when he makes comments like these. Shows you're A, very salty, very bitter, 
very jaded, and then you're also wrong because then you get IPs that have been coming back. They've been releasing them and they're also working at finding a way to emulate those PS3 games. So once that happens, yes, there's gonna be games from all those eras coming out and continuing to come out because they are big hits. Whether they're a remaster or just kind of an emulated piece or whatever the case is, we're gonna be able to play those on these current gen consoles. Simple as that. You make yourself look like an asshat as you always do. You don't know what you're talking about. Your information is off. You name it. It's really pathetic. It shows how salty you are. It shows how much copium you're taking every day. And again, your shilling is not helping the hardware sales code. Continue to do what you do. Try to make that buck on your channel. Try to do what you gotta do, right? But I digress, we'll end it there. I wanna wrap that up, but you folks out there, thank you so much for your support. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. And if you could also leave a like, both those things do help out the algorithm. Would love to know, honestly, what you think about all this nonsense from today's video. It's so crazy. The copium is absolutely out of this world at this point. However, that being said, also, if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing, helping out me as a small content creator on this channel. So thank you again. We are cruising our way up to that 2,500 sub goal. You know, the naysayers and the haters are not liking that. So I appreciate it because that helps rub salt in the wounds even further. But here we are. Oh, sh here we go again. And first and foremost, just remember, don't be a salty batch. And of course, on top of that, take care.